It's election day. Proud citizen Marcos walks to the town hall to go cast his vote. What a great day to be an American. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died. Hey, hey, stop right there. Where do you think you're going? Well, to both, of course. <laughs> Have you heard the breaking news? No, what? President Collins have banned all the amendments. You can't vote. What? Get out! Is that President Collins on the TV? My fellow Americans, as of tonight, after 12 o'clock, all of the amendments will no longer be in effect. I have decided that we do not need freedom of speech, freedom of press, or even the right to vote. He can't be serious. I hope you all have a good night, and God bless America. I can't believe this is happening. Marcos then later heads to a court to talk with the judge to ask him for a trial for his rights to vote. Excuse me, sir. I would like to hold a trial to prove that I am an American citizen that has the right to vote. Why should I let you have a trial? Because I'm a U.S. citizen and deserve the right to say in our elections for who will be leading and making decisions for me. Well, I do believe in fair rights for everyone. All right, but you'll have to prove yourself in court. Today, Marcos Lopez will be defending himself as an American citizen with the right to vote. The defendant will now provide his opening statement. Thank you, Judge, but I would first like to say that my client, Mr. Lopez here, is an American citizen born and raised, but he's being discriminated because of his color. And I would like you to put into consideration that he is a human being that would like the right to vote. The prosecutor will now go. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Lopez, you are now, as today, hereby not entitled to vote because the President Collins took away all the amendments. You, Mr. Lopez, do not deserve to vote because you are simply not the same skin color and there are no amendments at all anymore. That means nothing to protect you. Thank you. Both sides have included their opening statement. The defendant may now prove your case. I would like to call the historian Mr. Brady to the stand. Tell me, Mr. Brady, since you are a historian, can you please recite the 15th Amendment? The right of the citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged on any account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Please tell me, when was this amendment proposed or ratified? It was proposed on February 26, 1869, and ratified February 3rd, 1870. And did anybody have a problem with the Amendment 15 stating that any race or color could vote? Not at all. Citizens of any color and race would go and cast their vote happily. And who exactly was involved in the introduction and the ratification of this amendment? Congress was involved in proposing and ratifying the amendment itself. And what were the agreements for this amendment? The agreements for the amendment were that the citizens of the United States were allowed to vote no matter the color or race of the person. Thank you, Mr. Brady. That is all. The prosecutor may now state his claims. Sorry, don't this is the dumbest thing ever. How can you honestly listen to these people? He has no amendments protecting him. Also, I can say that he's not allowed to vote because I don't like the color of his skin. That's all. It's now the defendant's turn. I would like to call for the next witness. Mr. Lopez, please take to the stand. Mr. Lopez, what seems to be the problem today? I was going to go vote today, but my right to vote was ignored. How does this amendment affect you in your life? This amendment affects me greatly. I am a citizen of this country, and I should be able to vote for my political leaders, because those are people who are be willing to run for this state. And when it comes to decide uh, who runs for this country, I am not voting for Collins. Why would people judge me based on my skin color? 
As you can see, Your Honor, I am not white, and I probably will not be able to vote. And I work for justice as much as the other guy, but, but denying him of his rights based on skin color is just nonsense, and this goes directly against the 15th Amendment. Fair point. Democracy is what we built this country off of. Yes, but as I will say again, that amendment is not protecting you. Alrighty, you enough. to why Mr. Lopez should have the right to vote? Yes, Your Honor, in fact we do. I do have some statistics here, and if you look here, Your Honor, it says that in 2013, NBC US News states that in 2043, the US white majority will be the minority. Objection! This has nothing to do anything about voting! Overruled. Please continue. Well, if you think about it, Your Honor, that if you take away the people's right to vote, that in the past few decades, the white will become the minority. And if you take away the right to vote, there will be uprules and riots that will cause other countries to spark notice. I'm going to call for a recess, and after I shall make my decision. I have come to the conclusion that under the circumstances and in the eyes in the rights founded on this country, I hereby grant Mr. Lopez the right to vote. Yes! Yes! But listen here, Mr. Lopez. I hope that the President and others can come to see how the 15th Amendment has changed America. Case dismissed. After the trial, Marcos is escorted by the judge himself to the voting booths. Hey, 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 stop, stop. I no. told you that you can't come in here. Get out. No, no, it's okay. Give him the right to vote. Well, then, okay. Now, come on in. Be sure to vote the Collins. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I hope you all have a good night, and God bless America.